Hey, I'm back with another health recipe. This one is a lot cheaper than the one before. And if you're unable to go out for a meal and just don't have the money, here is a way to make your family and friend be happy and do some meals at home. Have a laugh, have a chat, and have a good time. These are the ingredients for a meal that will serve four people. One can of beef, six sweet potatoes, fresh thyme from my garden, four onion and six cloves of garlic, three carrots, three sweet pepper, one green and yellow, a pack of asparagus, hay leaves, paprika, steak seasoning, black pepper, the way I slice the beef. I'm going to do this beef in um, pat roast with some people call it steak, pepper steak but I'm doing it in pat roast and this is what um, the way I slice it up and at the moment I'm just going to put this, the spice over the beef as you can see and I'm going to put it all on top of it. So you make sure all the spice on uh, each side of it. So there is some olive oil to cook. You can use whatever oil you want, but I use olive oil or coconut oil. But you pour some olive oil in the pot, then you place the beef in the pot. And this is what I do. When it's um, finished, you pour the oil on. Roll. It's not frying, but the oil helps it to not sweeten the And after the stove, I'm Right, when this, you start turning them on each side regularly, so like for instance every minute, and then when you start get a bit of water in the pot, you put the lid on and turn the cooker down low. So I'll leave this to continue cooking like this, and I'm going to turn it again, and you'll see the water from the meat start coming up then you put the lid on and turn on the cooker a bit low i'm going to chop the onion and other ingredients to add to it but i'll get back to you right this is the way it looks when you pat roasting it i don't add any water to it this is the water that comes from the meat so you just keep turning it on each side while it's in the pot and keep the lid on and keep going back every so often and turn it because you don't want it to get sticky or burn in the pot. So now I'm going to chop the, the um, all the herbs and the onion and garlic in, a, in small pieces. I'm not very good at chopping for That's the onion chop. Now I'm going to finish the garlic. The way it looks when you're pack roasting the beef. So, there you get nice and it's not frying, it's just cooking at the same time. But it's not in a pile of water. If you start to get a bit dry, just a little tiny bit of water, not a lot. Like, 
couple of a tablespoon. I'm gonna put the lid on again and I'll show you the next step in a second. I'm doing the um, sweet pepper. So I take this bit of the sweet pepper out and there we add it there. And this is our chocolate. I chop them in small bits because when it cook, these um, spice just gonna turn herbs gonna turn literally gravy. You aren't gonna find it in the in the meat. Finish chopping the sweet pepper. Fresh thyme. I mainly get most of the leaf of the fresh thyme because you don't want the stick in it. Peeling the sweet potatoes and I'm going to cut them in not round shape, more like a stick long way. This is a sweet potato. Now I'm going to cut them into stick. This is my first one. And I will be steaming. Now I'm going to cut the rest. So that's all the sweet potato cut, peel and cut in sticks. This is the fat roast beef. It's nearly finished. So it's, I'm gonna put the spice in in a bit. What I'll advise you to do, cause it's all the water from the meat is dry. So just a little speck of water, not a lot. Put the lid back on. And I'm going to put this spice in in a few minutes. Right, I'm taking out some of the oil because there's a little bit too much oil in the, in the, the meat. So I'm taking out, spooning out some. It seems less in it now. I will be putting in the, the chopped onion, sweet pepper and thyme and garlic. And then I will be stir. I'm gonna put this on a low fire for a few more minutes and put the lids on. Now I'm cutting the carrots, which is the vegetable to serve with the meal. As I say, I like to cut my carrot in sticks. That's the carrot finished now, and I will be chopping the kale but not in small pieces. Now I'm cutting the kales and cut the leaves in three. That's my kale finished chopping on all the veg. Now I'm gonna stir fry the veg. Right now I'm gonna take out some of the cooked chopped onion, sweet pepper. As you can see, it's nicely cooked. And this, I'm gonna blend it in the Nutribullet and pour it back for the gravy. Some, some hot water from the kettle.
That's the pot roast beef with lots of juicy gravy in there. Just cover it because you had a bit of boiling water to it. So I put the rest in. So I'm going to put the lid on it for about a minute. And that's it. And then I will be serving. Sweet potato is all finished steamed. So now I'm going to put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. Now I'm doing the vegetable only in coconut oil. And my vegetable is about four minutes cooking. That's it. Putting in all the vegetables in the coconut oil. This is how the potato look on one side so now I'm turning the other side to get it glazed and then I will be serving in a few minutes. The kale in and then put the lid on the pot. Please don't put any water on your vegetables. This is the vegetables, only the coconut oil, steam for four minutes, no water, please don't kill the vegetable. As my kids had said, you cook the vegetable till it's dead. This is the finishing of the 